Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Adam with AK Lighting here to help you install and improve your own landscape lighting. Well, this is a series of the top five mistakes. The last video was the top five mistakes of trenching for your landscape lighting. And this is the top five mistakes of wiring up your landscape lighting. It's a must see video if you're interested in doing landscape lighting for yourself so you don't make the same mistake. With that being said, I'm gonna jump right into the video. So these aren't in any specific order. With that being said, number one, one is wired way too early. So over the years, I have learned that you just don't wire up the light to the wire just because it's there and you ran a wire to it. You need to make sure that you have all your ducts lined up in a row because what happens if you actually need another wire there? Well, you've already wired it up. Now you have to cut it up add that next wire and then rewire it up. So you're gonna give yourself more work by jumping ahead of yourself. I have done that before so many times. There was one time that I wired up the light and this was back when I first started landscape lighting for a professional company. And then my trainer came over and said, hey Adam, look, it looks pretty good, but what about this wire? I went, Oh my gosh, I completely forgot about that wire. So I disconnected the wire and then I connected that other wire in it. And then my trainer came back and he said, Adam, you forgot this other wire too. And I looked at him dumbfounded and thought, wow, how could I have missed so many wires? I was just so antsy to just start wiring up the lights that I didn't think ahead and see where the wires were coming from, how many wires needed to be wired up. So don't wire up too early. Now number two is wiring the wrong wires together. Now this is a mistake that doesn't happen very often, but I just recently did it again. And so I wanted to point this out that it still happens to me or professionals even after doing it for a few years. So I was fixing somebody's front yard lights and the person who had installed the lights before me would tie the wires kind of in a knot to keep it together. It's something you don't need to do, but that's what he did. And when I was rewiring the new light to these wires, I got confused of which wire was what. I thought I knew, and so what ended up happening is I wired the same wire to itself. And so when I turned on the transformer, that electricity was going to that light, but it was going, instead of completing the connection by going to the next wire, it just went back in the same wire and was causing a spark and then the transformer tripped and shut off and I was like, oh my gosh, what happened? And so I found the problem, I had to rewire it and don't wire the wrong wires together because when that happened, it's actually kind of hard to figure out what happened because you don't think that you did anything wrong and then that might be the last place you look. So just be mindful, focus when you wire it, make sure the words and letters are together and then the rougher edge of the wire is together as well on a separate wiring and don't have the words and wire together. Now that takes me to number three. I didn't wire all the wires together. Now this goes along the same lines of the first mistake is when you're wiring up the wires sometimes every once in a while let's say there are three wires that need to be wired up together. So you need to have three wires with writing and three wires with the rough edge. But what ends up happening is sometimes I will put three together and then two together and one wire is just kind of hanging out, not attached, and I'll put the light in the ground and then I'll come back after I've checked the lights to see if they're all working and then it's not working. So this happens every once in a while. It happens a lot more when you have more wires to connect. So let's say you have five or six. So you might, let's say you have six. So you wire up six on one side and then only five on the other side, but you feel like you've put a lot of wires together, but you're still missing one. Now mistake number four is I didn't wire with professional waterproof covers. Now, this is a mistake that a lot of people make, and I think it's because a lot of people don't know where to get professional waterproof covers. And the problem with this is when you don't wire it up correctly with that waterproof cover, eventually the dirt and water will corrode the connection of the copper, and the copper will lose that ability to pass electricity. And 
then the lights will stop working. And so in order to fix it, you'll have to cut out that connection and then make a new connection. So just from the start, just wire it up correctly with the right waterproof covers. And lastly, I wired up the transformer wrong. So this is a common mistake, and this actually happened recently with one of my customers. She thought she was doing a good job wiring up the transformer correctly. She was doing it on her own. I didn't teach her or show her how. And then when she asked me to come out and look at it, she had wired the wires in the wrong spots. So make sure when you wire up the transformer, do it correctly, and the way that you know how is the letters or words go into the common spot. Some transformers only have one common port, others have two common ports, but make sure that none of the wires that are rough are in that spot. And when you wire up the wires that have the rough edge, those go on the taps. So the 12, 13, 14, 15 volt taps. Well, thank you for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Also, if you're interested in doing your own landscape lighting, there's a 25 minute video that you can watch that goes over landscape lighting. Check it out. The link is in the description below. Best of luck with your landscape lighting project and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.